truck. Turn ready on. to roll. You ready to rock, Miss Sky? container terminal again we're in a Volvo uh, this time let's go rather enthusiastic Skynet today A new route. <laughs> Let's do that sky now. Let's find a new route as you call it.
Hello, I'm Simulator Dirk, and welcome back to another episode of Japan Truck Simulator. We are here, we have a load of tyres that we are going to uh, take to our destination. Here's our truck. The early hours of the morning. Nice little shot with the um, ship in the background. So let's get into the truck and fire it up and let's Time to get the job done. Thank you, Skynet. Good morning. So we'll have a look at how we're travelling. We have 16 tons of tyres on board. We are on our way to Harayu. Uh, we're expected sometime on Friday between lunchtime and dinner time. 38 hours 41 minutes left in the window. Next rest stop in 8 hours time. We've got 18, km 18 hours of travel time ahead of us, 1000 kilometres. Some of that probably by ferry the way things have been going. But let's get into it. going straight onto the ferry, are we? Alright, got a few trucks and cars coming this way. It's episode 3. Japan Truck Simulator, uh, powered by Project Japan on Euro Truck Simulator. So Get we'll ready to turn left. So it looks like we're going straight on the ferry. Left. I haven't been planning my routes of places that don't need to be on the ferry. So yeah, I don't know if it's just me because I haven't been planning the routes, but I have been, if I've been going somewhere, I've been trying to go to somewhere that I haven't been before. So we've only got one choice of where we are, so 15 hours on a ferry. a new route. <laughs> Let's do that sky now. Let's find a new route as you call it. Now maybe I need to be a bit better of okay now we're here now we need to find somewhere close by that doesn't involve getting on a ferry.
Sunday sunrise looks quite nice though. Um, Another possible for the uh, introduction. Really hard to spectate your own truck driving um, and actually drive the truck all at the same time. Alright, where are we going, Skynet? That's my navigator, Sky. Turn left. Turn left. Truck there. Alright, we'll wait for you to get around the corner. Ready to turn right. Turn right. Oh, I can go. Pretty sure I've uh, seen that family mark before. left a lot today. Turn left. Going for time just out of. Okay, so we're expected somewhere between Friday lunchtime and Friday afternoon. It's uh, Thursday night at the moment, just before 10 pm, and our next rest is in just under eight hours because we were on the ferry for. Bit of still got three hours. 
hours of three hours of driving remaining. Three hours of travel time remaining, most of that will be driving now. So you look at it initially and you think, oh gee, that's a lot of driving. But then again, a lot of it is also ferry time, so. Lots of little jobs, I think. Go straight on. Trying to go through the red lights, got it. Keep left and then turn left. Okay. Get on. Turn left. Oh, I remember this intersection. This is where we got stuck a cup on the first episode. It's where the traffic was really bad and it just got stuck. down a little bit, it's a narrow, narrow lane, start on the toll road. Temperature or something because there's no way that it's 83 degrees Celsius outside at um, almost 7 pm. I wonder if that's like a water temperature or something, not the actual ambient. I have seen in similar vehicles that um, would be the, the actual weather, but we're in a Volvo, so that could be different. I don't think it's 84 degrees Celsius outside. job delivered and while we think about what we're going to do for our next one we'll have a look around the map see where we've been so far see where we haven't been and see where we are in relation to what else we can pick up keep left 
and then exit left. And see if we can go somewhere that we haven't been before while keeping to the realism of. Exit left. Uh, while keeping to the realism of we've arrived in this place, so we want to depart the same place on the next load. being fine for anything on an episode. There's the police. Keep right and then turn right. Turn right. Stop the go already. straight on. Thank you. All right. Windy, windy bit, but in the opposite direction. Hey, somebody was on the skids there. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Not going over that line.
turn right. Turn right. Oh, yep. Go straight on. Stay behind the little yellow taxi. Now oh, he's got a truck in front of him, so that doesn't help. Uh, we're almost at our destination. Ready to turn left. Turn left. Ready right. to turn right. Okay. Turn right. Where are we turning right? Not there. Here we are, we have arrived, not 
much to see there. Excellent, 172 kilometres, 18 hours and 54 minutes taken, a lot of that was ferry. We were on time, base reward of the 172 kilometres, we are almost at level 2. We're in Harayu now, I think that's pronounced. So let's see, let's have a look at the map. We'll go to our job market. All right, so we're in Hyreiru. Um, so we need to change our origin. So we've only basically got one job. Uh, let me see, one job. Land distance 174 kilometres, ferry distance 1,000 kilometres. So you do a short little bit here, you go on the ferry, which I presume goes around and not through, and then you end up at your destination, then you're a short trip from your destination. And, no, hang on, that's our, that's Hararu, that's where we are now, short ride to the ferry, and we go, I presume, around, and then back to Agata, which we've already been to. So let me see, is it possible to go anywhere that's not on a ferry? No. 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 Although that's a lot more road driving. Uh, no, hang on, no, 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 okay, that's a short one, that's 148 kilometres, uh, need a ferry for that one, ferry yes, ferry yes, ferry yes, Ferry, yes. Land distance of four kilometres, ferry distance of a thousand kilometres. I presume that's because there's only two main areas that have been mapped out at this stage. Um, ferry, 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 ferry. Ferry, ferry, ferry. Oops, stop the controller. Uh, ferry, ferry, ferry. Well, they're all going to the same place or the same general area. So the vast majority of them need some sort of ferry ride because you've got some on one coast and then some on the other coast on the other island. And that will probably improve as they work on other places that are close by and as I get more experience I guess as well. Up. So the vast majority have a ferry involved but it's just a matter of how far you're actually driving uh, once you get to and from the ferry. Um.
A reservoir tank. That might look a little bit visually different. We'll try that. Before we set so before we set off, let's have a look at our update. Whoops, wrong one. We've got a reservoir tank on board. We're heading to Tokushima. We're expected some stage on Saturday morning. Um, it's now Thursday, almost 10 p.m. There's 38 hours in the window. Our next rest stop is in eight hours, plus we would have a ferry ride in that as well let's have a look at our truck we'll turn ready on. to rock you ready to rock miss sky again not much to see in the dark oh it is actually something that looks visually different that's cool let's get in the truck and There's target over there. Um, that wasn't good. This looks a little bit more promising.
go straight on. Turn right. Certainly interesting how much difference the cab looks when you get a little bit of light on it when you're going up a straight light. Get ready to turn left. Turn right.
back on the ferry. Have I been to Misaki? I don't think we have. Let's go. Never mind. I'll find a new route. Right. So let's have a look at our load now that we've actually got some daylight. Let's have a look. How are we going? Uh, we're expected sometime Saturday morning and now Friday afternoon. 22 hours of window remaining next rest stop in 7 hours 50. Only 4 hours and 56 minutes away, so nearly 5 hours away from our destination. We're fully rested and we should have enough fuel, so let's get back in the back in the truck. I think we went. We probably went in the wrong way when we um, parked up there. Let's see if we can be cheeky, shall we? Go 
because I think what, what this area is meant to be, I think it's supposed to come in here, park over there if you're waiting to get on the ferry, I think that's what you're supposed to do. to getting that fence on the way around. I think that truck actually has gone through that fence, that second truck. Turn right, okay. Um, I'm gonna turn left because I'm on that Oh, there's a town, a town bus. I'll get Skynet. Ah, now I'm stuck. Oh, yeah, I'm stuck. Yes, I know, I'm aware that you're behind me now. I got myself a tire away jackknife. And the papers there too, because of course they are. Should go in this from the cab. bad decision. Skynet. A little busy. Ah. And I've got that other truck right up my backside as well. Which does not help. Now we've got the little X's to deal with. Ah, crap. Alright. What have I got 
Go behind me. Should be doing this from inside the cab, but I just want to get out of here. Um, I know I wanted some footage for the introductions, but this wasn't the way to do it. That is how you make a promo for your video. And that is also how you lose a lot of time. All right, have I made everything stuck again? I think I have. We'll be back in a minute on Simulator Day of Japan.
All right, traffic has cleared and we had to reset. Let's do this. All right. All right, let's do turn this. Turn left and then turn left. I think we're going the right way now. All that traffic, that traffic jam that turn I turn right. To be honest, I'm not going back on the ferry. We're right now, Skynet. If the traffic just gets stuck, you just have to um, save, shut down, reboot, get out, get back in, and then you usually sweep. Like that one, I created all by myself, but there's been others that I've just driven across in previous episodes where that's happened. Do I recognise this bit or is this bit a new bit for me? Go straight on. Thanks, Garnet. This unless I've come through here in the dark. You know, that's entirely possible. truck let's go now I don't think I've been through here in daytime at least
get ready to turn left. Turn left. Some different 
rides, like it's nice to have something on that's not a container or not a um, refrigerated not a refrigerated trailer. I think something like that. Now another city discovered. left and then exit left. Japanese, oh, I love any road sign, but Japanese road signs are awesome. You've got that little bit of English, you've got the um, country characters. Uh, we're going straight, yeah, we're going straight, thank you, Scott. Um, oh, we're heading towards Kobe. Or in the general direction of. I'm going to say that merge came without warning, but then again, I don't read Japanese, so maybe there was a sign back there telling me, but because I didn't recognise it, it's like, oh gee, this changed all of a sudden. No, it probably didn't, but that's me. Did I ever drive in Japan? No, I didn't drive in Japan. I mainly caught the train or I walked. There was one day where uh, I was, was I in Shinjuku or thereabouts? Yeah, I was my second trip. Um, I have had experience in emergency services and that sort of thing. And security and whatnot. And I was walking around one, I'd like to say a Sunday afternoon. And 
a moped rider had a collision with a delivery van and so I was just helping the um, would have been would have been quite weird actually I was um, you know helping the uh, moped rider uh, helping him out and also um, directing traffic they wanted to from what I can understand from my extremely limited Japanese and probably their extremely limited English that they wanted to exchange their details in the middle of the road and I'm trying to tell them no 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 go to the go to the side you can you can move no. you know you don't have to exchange your details in the middle of the road it's probably not the safest thing to do and so here I am trying to talk to them um, I wouldn't know how to contact a bed she services properly and tell them where I am so I'm helping direct traffic because every all the traffic stopped and just wanting to have a look and so I'm trying to direct traffic so he's this rather large uh, guy from Australia directing traffic at an accident and then in the distance I see an ambulance so I thought well none of my None of the people that I'm looking after are hurt or anything. They're just trying to do paperwork and and, um, and I'm trying to get them off the road and get them going again. So this ambulance drives past and I'm thinking, oh, maybe they'll see me directing traffic. They'll pull over and, like, I had the situation under control, I thought. Um, but turn my lights on. I had the situation under control. Uh, this, uh, this Keep left over. and then turn left. Thanks, Skynet. I had the situation under control and I was expecting the ambulance to see me directing traffic and not some turn local left. Japanese. Tokushima. This is where I'm going. Tokushima. This is where I'm going. Um, so I'm thinking, oh, maybe they'll, you know, feel sorry for me. They'll pull over and try and find out what's going on or whatever. Now, I wasn't waving them down or anything because I had the situation under control but I thought well maybe they'll see me and stop no they just I can't remember if they waved but they um, kept going and then soon after you know they exchanged details and it made sure that everybody was all right and, uh, nobody was injured and they went on their they went on their merry way but so here's me directing traffic in Japan Oh, it's forgotten about that story. Oh, I wouldn't Keep say I've right. forgotten about the story, but... Alright, that's the toll there. Um, I wouldn't say that I'd forgotten about the story, but it wasn't forefront of my... Um, uh, Skynet help. Um, I think I'm going to the left. I'm going to go back onto the freeway. Okay. Let's find a new route. Okay, so not this way. Thanks for telling me, Skynet. Um, so it wasn't in the forefront. Where are we going? Um, I don't think I should have done that. Here I was thinking I was going the right way. Off up here. Um, so yeah, here's me directing. Keep left and then turn left. So here's me directing traffic at a Japanese accident scene. Turn left. <laughs> Which I thought it, I thought nothing of doing at the time, you know. And first of all, I just wanted to make sure that the moped rider was okay because he'd got hit by a delivery van. I think it was a delivery van or one of those small small, you know, two ton trucks. Uh oh. Okay, that's right. Um, so my first thing was to make sure that he was alright and then once that happened, make sure that nobody else became part of the accident as they were looking on. And then thirdly, to clear the road, so clear the traffic. I didn't see any police. The first, the closest that I got was that ambulance that went past. I know I told in the last episode, 
story about me having a snowball fight with um, a bunch of locals in Shinjuku. Get ready to turn left. Um, there was a, um, just up from the hotel where I was staying in Shinjuku, there was a fire station. Turn left. And so they were um, out on the footpath, I was because it had been snowing. So they were out on the footpath, um, shoveling snow on the footpath, and I was there taking photos of them. And so um, I don't know how we got to have the conversation, but we had the conversation where they basically suggested that I, instead of just me taking photos of them, that I um, actually just stop and give them a hand and do some shoveling as well. So I stopped and a little bit. Um, so I was giving them a hand. Um, Get ready to turn left. Shoveling snow and then afterwards we posed for a photo but my phone kept on dying because it was cold. Turn left. Oh this must be like a Got a nice photo, I've still got it online. There's a nice photo of me and the firefighters from Shinjuku after we were shoveling snow on a Sunday afternoon. That may have actually been the same afternoon of the um, incident of the moped rider. May have been the same afternoon. But that was fun. So I've had some good times in Japan, would like to go back. Go straight on. Go straight on. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. a little bit so I can actually not in reverse. Can actually see the traffic. And then we turn left up here. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. semi trial Get ready to turn right. Turn right. So there's a seven eleven.
soon as you two move, I'll make sure nobody else is coming. So I hope you have enjoyed the episode. Don't forget more videos, trucks, and otherwise simulated oak gaming.com, simulated oak on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Hope you have enjoyed the episode. Uh, hope you drive better than me sometimes. And stay safe out there. Watch out for trucks. And sayonara. Let's see, how did we do? Friday, excellent, 294 kilometres, 22 hours, partly because of the ferry. We're now on level 2. We got a level 1 proficiency bonus. We have an unassigned un skill point that we'll put into long distance. We'll apply that. Before we go, we'll have a look at the world map, or the map of Japan. Let's see. Now, in this section, I'm pretty sure I've been to Takayama. Oh, no, that was just the last route. That was just the last route that we did, okay. Um, reset navigation. No, that didn't do it. So, this is the... This is one sector. I basically did all of that. And I have been to Takayama before. Um, if we have a look. So basically. Oh, hang on. So what did we do? We, oops. Yes, we started up here, we started up in Har Hararu, and then we went down here through Kanzawara, and then we caught the ferry, and we went around, we got off the ferry, um, we got off the ferry, and then we went all around this way, and we ended up, I don't know why... Or maybe that's where the ferry went, but we just seem to go all over the place. So we've discovered 29, almost 30% of the map. So we have this little sector here that we haven't... Can we go to Kobe? Can we? Looks like we can. Something to do maybe on the next episode. Anywho, I'm Simulated Dirk. Thanks for watching. This has been Simulated Dirk Japan Truck Simulator powered by Project Japan, and I'll see you later, bye for now, stay safe, watch out for trucks, sayonara. Truck. Turn ready on. to roll. You ready to rock, Miss Sky?
so we're at the container terminal again we're in a Volvo uh, this time let's go rather enthusiastic Skynet today Let's do that sky now. Let's find a new route, as you call it. Coming. 